Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I got another useful video for you guys today. So on my previous video, someone wrote a comment that said, you'll get better reflections from the screen if you use planner reflections in your UE5 scene instead of screen space reflections. So what does he mean by that? I'll let you guys know in a minute. But before that, I just want to let you guys know that you should really watch out for this guy, Johan Fo. Because if you've been to the official uh, Aximetry and Unreal Engine uh, Facebook group, you will see his name everywhere. And he even has a tag that says group expert. And if you've been to the uh, Aximetry forum, you will see that he's also been busy there. He's everywhere. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure that he goes by the tag 20 studio. So take a note of the name, Johan Folk. If you ever need help, there is one master Aximetry and Unreal Engine practitioner for you right there. With that said, what does he mean by planner reflections and whatnot? If you're new to Unreal Engine and Aximetry, you're probably like, what? It's not that complicated. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. It's really easy and you won't ever have to worry about having bad reflections ever again in your virtual production. Let's get to it. All right, so I've opened up the Unreal Editor for Aximetry and I haven't changed any of the settings. So basically, if you open up the editor and you create a new project and you don't change anything, this is how it is. This is the setting. And I made a very simple scene here. It's basically just an empty studio with a a uh, reflective floor that I got from the uh, Megascan library and it has a single light, you know, it has like one light up there and I have this uh, monitor here behind. This is a virtual screen. If you guys would like to get it, you could download it from my Patreon. And of course it has the Aximetry uh, virtual camera. So it's a very simple setup and I just want to go to my project settings for a bit under the rendering tab. I just want to note down here that things are set to Lumen and Lumen by default. So let's cook this and open it up in Aximetry. All right, so here's the project open in Aximetry. And as you can see, we have nice reflections of the monitor here behind our talent. But Nora, our talent here, doesn't really have a nice reflection. It's sort of just this like black smudge underneath her. All right, so I'm gonna try and fix that now using a planner reflection plane. So first, I need to go to my project settings and actually turn off the lumen reflection method. So I'm gonna set it to none. And I am going to add a planner reflection. All right, so you can't really see it because I'm in game mode. So if you press G on your keyboard, now you can see the plane. And I'm gonna bring it down so it's just like right above my floor, okay? So all right, that should do it. And now let's cook it again and open it up again in Aximetry. So here we are back in Aximetry and now you can see that not only the monitor has a nice reflection, but also does Nora. And that's all there is to it. Now, of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many settings that you can fill around with with the planner reflections itself. So feel free to adjust the settings to your need until you get your desired look. But anyway, I hope it was useful and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.